It is centuries old, celebrated by the Indian tribes of the southeast, the Creeks, Seminoles, Cherokees, Choctaws, and Chickasaws. It is the Green Corn Festival. Each summer, in the season of the new corn, these Indian peoples gather at their tribal towns to perform this rite of purification and rejuvenation. It is both a Thanksgiving ceremony and a New Year celebration. Thanking Mother Earth for her sustenance during the past year and ensuring that a proper relationship with the Creator is maintained. But this is no ancient, extinct ritual. It is a living, organic part of Indian life today. It is religion, culture, tradition. What you are about to see and hear is the surviving form of the Green Corn Festival as it is practiced by Creek Indians at a dozen or so ceremonial grounds in Oklahoma today. The ceremony takes place in and around the ceremonial square, with the men of the tribal town seated around the edge. The whole affair is directed by the tribal town chief, who also prepares the herbal medicine for the occasion. Everything in the festival is done in sets of four in honor of the four winds or four directions. Certain powers come from each of the directions, so each must be honored. There are four brush arbors in the square and four parts to each of the dances. After a week of camping at the grounds, mowing, cleaning and making other preparations, the festival begins near sunset on Friday. First, the women and girls of the tribal town are honored in the ribbon dance. The ladies prepare special dresses for the occasion with bright colors and long ribbons. Turtle shells or tin cans filled with pebbles are tied to their legs. They circle the ashes of last year's sacred fire following the directions given by the chief. Oh, 
are welcome to participate. This stop dance continues most of the night with lead singers from different ceremonial grounds taking turns in leading the dances, the songs honoring the animals and other creatures of nature. <laughs> Saturday, the men begin the day's activities with preparations for the next stages of the festival. A new fire is started in the center of the square with four logs pointing in the four directions. The women may not enter the square until the men's ceremony is finished in late afternoon. About mid-morning, one of the chief's assistants begins preparing herbal medicine in a tub at the edge of the square. by blowing through a hollow bamboo shoot and chanting lowly to himself. 
This badge is for the women who want to take or touch the purifying and relaxing mixture. Then they are scratched so that the medicine gets into their muscles and its power can take effect. Later, the boys and men also touch medicine and get scratched. Then the men prepare for the feather dance. The feather dance, made up of four songs, sung four times for each of the four winds, ends the main part of the ceremony. Oh, rock it on, guys! Oh, I'm rock it! 
Indian people in eastern Oklahoma. People trying to live in two worlds, working in a modern white man's world while maintaining ancient traditions, so important to the identity of being Indian. Oh, yeah. 